Welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the Update 32 Slave Lords crafting system and I'm going to be showing you how that system works. It's not a difficult system to use, but I know that when new crafting systems come out, they can be a little intimidating, you know, you don't want to mess up your item or you know, lose your ingredients or something, so I'm going to show how that works. Now this, if you haven't taken a look at it yet, the gear that you can make in the Slave Lords uh, crafting system is best in show right now. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I mean, the stats are highest in game, and you can put so many things onto one item. And I'm going to show you an example. Uh, this is actually a, a ring that I got off of uh, Ginger Spice. And here's the thing. This is some of the most powerful and versatile loot in the game. So like I said, I pulled this off of Ginger. It's bound to account, and it stays bound to account even when you upgrade it. So totally awesome. So that's one thing that makes it versatile. And another thing that makes it versatile is that you can equip it to multiple slots. So for example, this legendary five rings, it says equips to finger or trinket. Look at this. I can put it in the trinket slot or I can put it on the ring slot. Okay. And then the chain says equips to neck or waist and the shackles equips to wrist or feet. So it's just amazing and 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 then I guess maybe the biggest versatility of it is this that you can put five things on here so you have like a primary augment secondary augment bonus augment extra augment and an augment slot and then there's a set bonus you can apply to it too so this gear is just so awesome so this piece that I'm showing you now is actually not complete there's only four things added to it I could add a slot to it and then a set bonus. And the set bonus does have to be applied to it. You don't just get that automatically. You have to add ingredients to add the set bonus. I wanted to splice in a short segment because I forgot to mention, I felt it important to mention that the ingredients that you get from the quests are tied to certain quests. So for example, in part one, uh, you're going to get these legendary broken shackles and that's sort of the primary drop. You're going to get a lot more of those compared to like the secondary drop. Uh, which is the shattered symbol of the slave lords, and you get these at a ratio of about four to one dropping in quests. And then your legendary chain links uh, drop in part two is your primary ingredient, if you will, and then your legendary frayed leathers drop in uh, as the secondary ingredient. And then in part three, the legendary broken collars drop as the primary, about four times as much as your secondary legendary staff splinters that drop in part three. And then the golden statuette, or legendary statuette to the gods, excuse me, uh, that is a very rare drop. You know, like I said, I've probably run the whole chain about two dozen times, and I have pulled one. It gives you an idea approximately how often it's going to drop. These um, blank craftables, by the way, these are also tied to specific quests. I can't remember which ones drop which, but they're very common drops. And so you need a lot of these ingredients. By the time you get enough to even craft you know, your first few tiers, you're going to have a dozen of each of those blanks. So don't stress about getting the blanks. They're really easy to acquire. And to sort of put things into perspective, you're going to have to run like just approximately like a dozen runs on like legendary elite to, to craft like your first four tiers so it is a bit of a grind but it's totally worth it it's probably the biggest grind we've seen in, in ddo since maybe like heroic green steel back in the day i mean think about how long it took you to make your first green steel but when you made it you're like oh this thing's so awesome you know i worked so hard i love this thing this is gonna be the same way and so i'm actually glad they put a big grind in ddo uh, I think it's good for the game. I know there are people that feel strongly otherwise, but I'm glad that we have this. So don't expect to have everything you want in the first week or even the first month. This is a long-term project, but the gear is totally worth it. So don't stress. Just, you know, f you know farm it regularly, and then you're going to build up the ingredients you need to make this. All right, so if you haven't looked at the DDO wiki entry, uh, that's what I'm going to switch to next. There isn't a crafting planner available for this yet. Maybe somebody will make one, but there is not one yet. If you don't have DDO Wiki bookmarked, you need to bookmark it. This is probably the single best resource we have for DDO out there, period. I mean, it's just awesome. I love it. I use it every day. Uh, just awesome, awesome stuff. Just everything DDO is here. So this is the Slave Lord's entry. Um, you can get to it. Like, here's the homepage. Just 
Slave Lords Crafting. I'm sure there'll be a link in the crafting link soon. Here's all your other crafting that you can link to. I mean, just it's got everything. It's so awesome. Mad props to the folks that uh, that do this. So here it shows you all your ingredients and your base items. And down here is it shows you what you can put on there. So like ability 17, you know, sheltering 45. That's the highest in the game right now. You know, spell power 185, highest in game. I mean, there's like one, you know, a couple of items that have equivalent to that, but there's nothing higher. Um, resistance 14, again, there's like a set of armor that has that, but, you know, that's about it. Uh, spell lore 27, that's the highest in game. So really awesome stuff. Quality, quality attributes, plus four. Just phenomenal. So it's really, really awesome stuff. It shows you what you need. So here's your... Your prefix, if you want to call it tier 1, 400 legendary broken shackles. Your suffix, if you want to call that tier 2, uh, legendary, 400 legendary chain links. And this is for the legendary, and here's for the heroic. Uh, and then, you know, for your extra slot, 400 broken chains, or broke collars. Your extra 2 slot, you need 100 of each of these. And so you remember I said, you know, these sort of secondary ingredients, you don't need as many of these. So like these frayed leathers, these are only used for the extra 2 slot, and you only need 100 of them for that. Uh, the legendary staff splinters are only used to add a, the slot. And uh, the legendary shattered symbol of the slave lords are only used to add the set bonuses. But these ingredients, obviously, you, see you need a lot more. To, you, know, you need 400 for these different you know, prefix, suffix, extra. But then you also need them again down here for the extra two and uh, all, everything else in addition to those, those sort of unique ones the leathers and the staff splinters and the shattered symbols. So you're going to want to take a look at this entry to get a feel for what you want. And right now, you know, they're color-coded yellow and pink. That's just because the pink values haven't been verified yet. The values that are there are just what they project, what they suspect they're going to be. So this should be, I'm sure this will be completed in the next week or two. So this, you know, take a look at this entry and figure out, you know, how you're going to want to map out your gear. And what's also awesome about this stuff, there's a three and five piece set bonus. And so you can see those set bonuses. You got the Slave Lord's Might, Slave Lord's Sorcery, and Slave Lord's Endurance. So this is, you know, this is like the melee ranged. This is, you know, the caster, and then the endurance is like the tanky uh, set bonus. So very, very cool. And remember, you do have to add the set bonus. You don't just get it. There is one more ingredient. It says Mythic Upgrade here. Statuette to the Gods, okay? That's this guy right here. As of the making of this video, that uh, hasn't been implemented yet. The statuettes are dropping, but we're not able to myth myth mythify <laughs> mythify our gear yet. Uh, I'm sure that'll be coming in a in a patch very soon. All right, let's make an item. I'm excited. This is only my second item that I I'll, I'll have made yet, so I don't have a set bonus yet. So we're about a week and a half ago, this was released. So I'm, I'm making my second item, and I play this game way too often. So, <laughs> but I know I've already heard about people having five-piece set bonuses. I like, I can't even imagine that. Like, I've been running, you know, maybe two to four times a day, uh, but I've missed a few days because of work. But just to sort of give you an idea how much I've been grinding it. Okay, so I am in the entrance. I just stepped in to part one. Uh, and it's, you know, you want to go into the heroic instance if you're crafting a heroic item. You want to go into the legendary instance if you're crafting a legendary item. And you just talk to this guy right here on the side. You can see I'm just in the starting room. So you don't have to fight your way to any kind of crafting device. It's just right there at the entrance of part one. So you first, you want to say exchange ingredients for, for gems, okay? And one of the things I want to say is that the, um, the tool tips aren't working properly. So you're not, you're not seeing anything here, and then, well, when we apply them, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I've already mapped out what I want, and first I want to get, I want to get that 45 sheltering, because this is a tanky tune. Legendary Slaver's Sheltering. Hell yeah, I want that. Okay, and that's going to go into your green bag. All these ingredients go into your green bag. Pop that out. And then for my next 
let's see, for my suffix, I want to get that radiance lore. Oh, radiance lore 27. So awesome. Boosh. I'll just pop that sucker right out. And then for my next here, for the extra slot, I'm going to get spell focus, okay? Now this is really exciting. I'm going to show you why. Because when I, when I saw, you know, on here, that it said spell focus six, I was like, that's really lame. You know, I can craft that, random loot. You know, I mean, we've had that. So I was like, that's, you know, I should be plus seven. But I found out something really cool yesterday. I'm going to show you when I put it on there. Aren't you excited? I am. <laughs> okay, so for my extra two slot, I'm going to do quality con. Uh, I better put constitution in here. Constant. Okay, quality constitution. Yep, give it to me. Okay, so I'm just going to be doing the first four tiers. I'm not putting the slot on now. And, and an important point here is that, you know, you don't have to put everything on here. You know, you can just like maybe you just want to do the prefix and the suffix and then add the set bonus and then backfill everything that's my plan is I'm gonna do the first four tiers I'm not gonna add my slots I'm gonna do my first four tiers on everything add my set bonus and then backfill the slots later but you you know you can do whatever you want here so let's pop these bad rascals out here And you can put these on in any order. So now I'm going to click on them again. I've already uh, exchanged ingredients for gems. I got all the ones I wanted. Now I'm going to use gems to upgrade items. So I'm going to do one of these legendary five rings. So I'm going to equip this to my ring slot. Okay. And then I'm going to put on my sheltering. And here's what I want to show you. If you look at the tooltip, it says sheltering plus one. So here's where the tooltips are so wrong. So don't rely on looking at that for the values. You know, go to that wiki entry, and that is accurate. So uh, I just pop it in there, click on that, upgrade. Boom. There's my sheltering 45. Now, the reason why I brought this other ring in here, I mean, I wanted to use it as an example to show you, but I also wanted to see if the, if the slots can be overwritten. And I haven't tried this yet, so let's see. No matches found. Okay, so once you've slotted it up, that's it. You can't. That would have been super cool if they had done that, but oh well. So be careful about what you put on there. You can't override it like, you know, like the legendary green steel. You can't override that. All right, where are we at? Put my thingy dingy back in the. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm going to put the quality constant. So this is the extra two. And so what I just want to show you, the reason why I'm doing this one next, is I just want to show you that, you know, you don't have to do, like, the prefix and then the suffix and then the extra and then the extra, any order you want, okay? So we're going to, oh, it's already in there. So let's do, this is the radiance lore. Wah! Radiance Lore 27. This is going to be so baller. Okay, and then finally, this is the part where I'm really excited, okay? Watch this. Spell Focus. I thought that was going to be to one school. That's plus six bonus to the DC of all spells. How baller is that? Come on now. Don't you want to be a baller? And a shot caller? Well, with this gear, you can have 20-inch blades on your Impala. Okay, so that's how it works. You know, I can also add a slot there, you know, different color slots. Uh, and then you can add your set bonus to phenomenal gear, so versatile, so powerful. Go craft yourself some Slave Lords, grind it out. Don't get frustrated. It's a huge grind. Just, you know, make it part of your, your routine and uh, make yourself some of this amazing loot. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. And if you happen to be on Sarlona, you are welcome to send me a tell.